Kruger National Park is one of the largest game reserves in Africa. It covers an area of 19,485 square kilometers, 7,523 square miles in the provinces of Limpopo and Mpumalanga in northeastern South Africa and extends 360 kilometers, 220 miles from north to south and 65 kilometers, 40 miles from east to west. The administrative headquarters are in Skukuza. Areas of the park were first protected by the government of the South African Republic in 1898, and it became South Africa's first national park in 1926. To the west and south of the Kruger National Park are the two South African provinces of Limpopo and Mpumalanga. In the north is Zimbabwe, and to the east is Mozambique. It is now part of the Great Limpopo Transfrontier Park, a peace park that links Kruger National Park with the Gonorujo National Park in Zimbabwe, and with the Limpopo National Park in Mozambique. The park is part of the Kruger to Canyons Biosphere an area designated by the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization UNESCO as an International Man and Biosphere Reserve the, biosphere". the park has nine main gates allowing entrance to the different camps. History Pre-reserve Over 300 recorded archaeological sites in Kruger Park attest to its occupation before modern times. Most sites however had relatively short occupation periods, as the presence of predators and the CC fly limited cattle husbandry. At Masserini Hill, beside the H9 route, iron smelting was practiced up to the Mafakane era. The reconstructed Thulamela on a hilltop south of the Levuvu River was occupied from the 13th to 16th centuries, and had links with traders from the African East Coast. Before the Second Anglo-Boer War the area now covered by the park was a remote section of the Eastern Transvaal's last wild frontier. Paul Kruger, President of the South African Republic at the time, proclaimed the area, which was inhabited by the Sangha people, a sanctuary for the protection of its wildlife. James Stevenson Hamilton noted many crawls along the Sabi River and also further north beyond the Letaba River although the north was sparsely populated compared to the south. Many of the local natives were employed by railway companies for construction of rail connections, notably that between Pretoria and Lorenco Marcus during the end of the 19th century. Abel Chapman, one of the hunters who noted that the area was overhunted by the end of the 19th century, brought this fact to wider attention. Topic: <laughs> Sabi Game Reserve 1898 to 1926. In 1895, Jakob Louis van Wyck introduced in the Volksraad of the Old South African Republic a motion to create the game reserve. The area proposed extended from the Crocodile River to the Sabi River in the north. That motion, introduced together with another Volksraad member by the name of R. K. Loveday, and accepted for discussion in September 1895 by a majority of one vote, resulted in the proclamation by Paul Kruger, President of the Transvaal Republic, South African Republic on 26 March 1898, of a government wildlife park. This park would later be known as the Sabi Game Reserve. The park was initially created to control hunting and to protect the diminished number of animals in the park. James Stevenson Hamilton became the first warden of the reserve in 1902. The reserve was located in the southern one-third of the modern park. Singwitzi Reserve, named after the Shingwaji River and now in northern Kruger National Park, was proclaimed in 1903. During the following decades all the native tribes were removed from the reserve and during the 1960s the last were removed at Makuleki in the Pafori Triangle. In 1926, Sabi Game Reserve, the adjacent Shingwaji Game Reserve, and farms were combined to create Kruger National Park. During 1923, the first large groups of tourists started visiting the Sabi Game Reserve, but only as part of the South African Railway's popular Round in Nine tours. The tourist trains used the Saladi Railway line between Kamataport on the Mozambican border and Zanin in Limpopo Province. The tour included an overnight stop at Sabi Bridge now Skukuza, and a short walk, escorted by armed rangers, into the bush. It soon became a highlight of the tour and it gave valuable support for the campaign to proclaim the Sabi Game Reserve as a national park. <laughs> <laughs> Sabi 
Topic: Kruger National Park 1926 to 1946. After the proclamation of the Kruger National Park in 1926, the first three tourist cars entered the park in 1927, jumping to 180 cars in 1928 and 850 cars in 1929. Warden James Stevenson Hamilton retired on the 30th of April 1946 after 44 years as warden of the Kruger Park and its predecessor, the Sabi Sabi Game Reserve. Topic. 1946–1994 Stevenson Hamilton was replaced by Colonel J. A. B. Sandenberg of the South African Air Force. During 1959, work commenced to completely fence the park boundaries. Work started on the southern boundary along the Crocodile River and in 1960 the western and northern boundaries were fenced, followed by the eastern boundary with Mozambique. The purpose of the fence was to curb the spread of diseases, facilitate border patrolling and inhibit the movement of poachers. The Makuleki area in the northern part of the park was forcibly taken from the Makuleki people by the government in 1969 and about 1500 of them were relocated to land to the south so that their original tribal areas could be integrated into the greater Kruger National Park. Topic: 1994 present. In 1996 the Makuleki tribe submitted a land claim for 19,842 hectares 198.42 square kilometers, namely the Pafori or Makuleki region in the northernmost part of the park. The land was given back to the Makuleki people, however, they chose not to resettle on the land but to engage with the private sector to invest in tourism. This resulted in the building of several game lodges from which they earn royalties. In the late 1990s, the fences between the Kruger Park and Claisery Game Reserve, Oliphants Game Reserve, and Balule Game Reserve were dropped and incorporated into the Greater Kruger Park with 400,000 hectares added to the reserve. In 2002, Kruger National Park, Gonarujo National Park in Zimbabwe, and Limpopo National Park in Mozambique were incorporated into a peace park, the Great Limpopo Transfrontier Park. In 2009, Sandparks envisaged a four star hotel northeast of Mail Lane on the bank of the Crocodile River, as part of a survival strategy to make the park less dependent on state subsidies. Eventually Radisson Blue was mandated to operate a 104-room safari resort starting 2019, which promises a smaller ecological footprint than that of prior, existing camps. The three-star, 128-room Skukuza Safari Lodge, to be completed by late 2018, was necessitated by the adjacent Nambolo MDH Luli Conference Center, opened in 2011, which draws guests arriving by charter flights or in tour buses. Former head of the park Solomon Joubert warned that these developments threaten the character, ethos and original objectives of the park, but Minister of Environmental Affairs, Edna Molewa, deemed development of 0.3% of the park as acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> Location and geography The park lies in the northeast of South Africa, in the eastern parts of Limpopo and Mpumalanga provinces. Falaborwa, Limpopo is the only town in South Africa that borders the Kruger National Park. It is one of the largest national parks in the world, with an area of 19,485 square kilometers 7,523 square miles. The park is approximately 360 kilometers, 220 miles long and has an average width of 65 kilometers, 40 miles. At its widest point, the park is 90 kilometers, 56 miles wide from east to west. To the north and south of the park, two rivers, the Limpopo and the Crocodile respectively, act as its natural boundaries. To the east, the Lebombo Mountains separate it from Mozambique. Its western boundary runs parallel with this range, roughly 65 kilometers 40 miles distant. The park varies in altitude between 200 meters 660 feet in the east and 840 meters 2760 feet in the southwest near Berg and Dahl. The highest point in the park is here, a hill called Konzalive. Several rivers run through the park from west to east, including the Sabi, Olifants, Crocodile, Letaba, Luvuvu and Limpopo rivers. Climate 
The climate of the Kruger National Park and Lowville is subtropical. Summer days are humid and hot. The rainy season is from September until May. The Kruger National Park website lists September and October as the driest periods, culminating in rains late in October. Flora and fauna Vegetation Plants life in the park consists of four main areas. Thorn trees and red bush willow veldt This area lies between the western boundary and roughly the center of the park south of the Olifants River. Combretums, such as the red bush willow Combretum apiculatum, and acacia species predominate while there are a great number of marula trees Sclericaria caffra. The acacias are dominant along the rivers and streams, the very dense NWA Timiri bush along the Sabi River between Skukuza and Lower Sabi being a very good example. Knob Thorn and Marula Velt South of the Olifants River in the eastern half of the park, this area provides the most important grazing land. Species such as red grass and buffalo grass predominate while the knob thorn leadwood and marula are the main tree species. Red bush willow and mopane veldt This area lies in the western half of the park, north of the Olifants River. The two most prominent species here are the red bush willow and the mopane tree mopane. Shrub mopane veldt Shrub mopane covers almost the entire northeastern part of the park. There are a number of smaller areas in the park which carry distinctive vegetation such as Pretoriascop where the sickle bush and the silver cluster leaf are prominent. The sandvilled communities near Punda Maria are equally definitive, with a wide variety of unique species. Mammals. All the big five game animals are found at Kruger National Park, which has more species of large mammals than any other African game reserve at 147 species. There are webcams set up to observe the wildlife. The park stopped culling elephants in 1994 and tried translocating them, but by 2004 the population had increased to 11,670 elephants, by 2006 to approximately 13,500, by 2009 to 11,672, and by 2012 to 16,900. The park's habitats may only be able to sustain about 8,000 elephants, though this is not entirely clear. Elephants do change plant growth and density in the park, and some species, such as wildebeests, clearly benefit from an increase in grasslands. The park started an attempt at using contraception in 1995, but has stopped that due to problems with delivering the contraceptives and upsetting the herds. Kruger supports packs of the endangered African wild dog, of which there are thought to be only about 400 in the whole of South Africa. Topic. Birds Out of the 517 species of birds found at Kruger, 253 are residents, 117 non-breeding migrants, and 147 nomads. Some of the larger birds require large territories or are sensitive to habitat degradation. Six of these species, which are by and large restricted to Kruger and other extensive conservation areas, have been assigned to a fanciful grouping called the Big six birds. They are the lappet faced vulture, Marshall eagle, saddle billed stork, cory bustard, ground hornbill, and the reclusive Pell's fishing owl, which is localized and seldom seen. There are between 25 and 30 breeding pairs of saddle billed storks in the park, besides a handful of non breeding individuals. In 2012, 178 family groups of ground hornbills roamed the park and 78 nests were known, of which 50% were active.
Topic: Other vertebrates. Kruger is inhabited by 114 species of reptile, including black mamba, African rock pythons, and 3,000 crocodiles. 33 species of amphibians are found in the park, as well as 50 fish species. A Zambesi shark, Carcharhinus lucas, also known as the bull shark, was caught at the confluence of the Limpopo and Luvuvu rivers in July 1950. Zambezi sharks tolerate fresh water and can travel far up rivers like the Limpopo. Topic: Invertebrates. 219 species of butterfly and skipper are native to the park. The park has a high diversity of termites and 22 genera are known to occur, including the mound-building genera Macrotermes, Cubitermes, Amatermes, Odontotermes and Trinervitermes. As of 2018, 350 species of arachnids, excluding ticks and mites, are known from Kruger. These are mostly true spiders, including seven species of baboon spider, but also nine scorpion species, seven pseudoscorpion species, and eighteen solifugid species sun and Roman spiders, two species of harvestman and one species of tailless whip scorpion. <laughs> Anti-poaching measures Kruger is not exempt from the threat of poaching that many other African countries have faced. Many poachers are in search of ivory from elephant tusks or rhino horns, which are similar in composition to human fingernails. The park's anti-poaching unit consists of 650 Sandparks game rangers, assisted by the SAPs and the SANDF including the SAAF. As of 2013, the park is equipped with two drones borrowed from Danel and two Aerospatial Gazelle helicopters, donated by the RAF to augment its airspace presence. Automated movement sensors relay intrusions along the Mozambique border to a control center, and a specialist dog unit has been introduced. Buffer zones have been established along the border with Mozambique, from where many poachers have infiltrated the park, as an alternative to costly new fences. The original 150 km long fences were dropped in 2002 to establish the Great Limpopo Transfrontier Park. The National Anti-Poaching Committee oversees all activities and coordinates interested parties. Poachers <inaudible> 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 Kruger's big game poachers operate with night vision instruments and large caliber rifles, fitted with suppressors and sophisticated telescopic sights. They are mostly Mozambique citizens that initiate their carefully planned incursions from the border region of South Africa and Mozambique. In 2012, some 200 poachers were apprehended, while about 30 were killed in skirmishes. In July 2012, a Kruger game ranger and policeman were the first to die in an anti poaching operation, while other employees reported intimidation by poachers. A Kruger personnel strike affected some anti poaching operations, and a few employees have been directly implicated. Rangers in and around the park have been pressured or blackmailed by poaching syndicates to provide intelligence on the whereabouts of rhinos and anti poaching operations. In December 2012, Kruger started using a Seeker 2 drone against rhino poachers. The drone was loaned to the South African National Parks Authority by its manufacturer Danel Dynamics, South Africa. In February 2018, a head belonging to a suspected poacher appeared in Kruger National Park near Hodesprate, with the body dragged off and eaten by lions, it is assumed. Officials had assumed at first that it was the head of a park employee that had gone missing days before, but it was later determined the man was, in fact, a suspected poacher after the park employee had been found alive. The head belonging to the suspected poacher had been found in an area highly trafficked by lions, along with a loaded hunting rifle. <inaudible> Rhino Poachers mostly operate at or near full moon and make no distinction between white and black rhinos. Losses of black rhino are however low due to their reclusive and aggressive nature. With rhino horn fetching around $66,000 and up to $82,000 per kilogram, the site's ban on the trade in rhino horn has proved largely ineffectual. 
The second horn is sometimes hacked from the skull to obtain about 100 milliliters of moisture that is sold locally as traditional medicine. Poaching related to rhino horn escalated in the 21st century with 949 rhinos killed in Kruger in the first 12 years, 2001 to 2012, and over 520 in 2013 alone. A planned memorandum of agreement between South Africa and Vietnam, in addition to the one with China, are seen as necessary milestones in stemming the tide, while negotiations with Thailand have not yet started. The amount of rhino horn held in storage is not publicly known. Since 2009 some Kruger rhinos have been fitted with invisible tracing devices in their bodies and horns which enable officials to locate their carcasses and to track the smuggled horns by satellite. South Africa's 22,000 white and black rhinos, of which 12,000 are found in Kruger, represent some 93% of these species' world population. <inaudible> elephant Kruger experienced significant elephant poaching in the 1980s, which has since abated. It holds over 48 tons of ivory in storage. According to Convention on the International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Flora and Fauna sites, it is allowed to sell 30 tons. Following approval by sites, 47 metric tons of stockpiled ivory from Kruger were auctioned on 6 November 2008. The sale fetched approximately $6.7 million which will be used towards increasing anti-poaching activity. The average price for the 63 lots on auction was $142 per kilogram. Topic. Other It is foreseen that the placement of wire traps to procure meat would eventually become the most challenging form of poaching. A scheme has been proposed to reward adjacent communities with the proceeds of game sales in return for their cooperation in game preservation. The larger communities include Bosbachrand, Acornhook, Hazyview, Hode Sprait, Kamataport, Mail Lane, Marloth Park, Nelsprait, and Falaborwa. Accommodation and facilities The Kruger National Park has 21 rest camps, as well as two private lodge concessions, and 15 designated private safari lodges. The concessions are parcels of land operated by private companies in partnership with communities, who outsource the operation of private lodges. Camping in the park has become popular with tourists and backpackers because it is much less expensive, and open to anyone, requiring no special permission to partake. Rest camps Visitors have access to the following camps in Kruger. Designated private lodges The following camps are managed by private operators. Topic: <inaudible> Bushveld camps. Bateller Bushveld camp. Biemiti Bushveld camp. Shimawini Bushveld camp. Sirheni Bushveld camp. Talamati Bushveld camp. Topic restaurants On 30 October 2013, South African National Parks Sandparks announced the establishment of franchise restaurants in several rest camps. Mug and bean restaurants have been established at Lower Sabi, Oliphants and Letaba rest camps. Wimpy restaurants have been established at Pretoria Skop and Satara rest camps. Skukazaz Salati Station Grill House has been replaced by Chow, and Skukazaz Main Camp Restaurant and Takeaway will be run by Cattle Baron and Bistro. This decision was controversial, with some people welcoming the improvement in food services, and others viewing the introduction of franchises as detracting from the purpose of the Kruger Park. <laughs> Gates to the Kruger Park The Kruger Park has the following gates. <laughs> Wilderness trails. Nine different trails are on offer in the Kruger National Park. Some are overnight and they last several days in areas of wilderness virtually untouched by humans. 
There are no set trails in the wilderness areas, a visitor walks along paths made by animals or seeks out new routes through the bush. Gallery See also Kruger to Canyon's Biosphere Abel Chapman Battle at Kruger Great Limpopo Transfrontier Park Makuleki Protected Areas of South Africa Skukuza Kruger National Park in the 1960s a timeline of events Sabi Sand Game Reserve Sandwild Wildlife Sanctuary <laughs>